And, uh, through all the twists and turns of this season, one thing has pretty much remained a constant since about, I think, the first or second week, and that's uh, yourself and Adam and, and Nino. Uh, uh, if Nino's not able to go, how, uh, how much different will that look in that field? Yeah, it'll definitely, uh, definitely be different. I mean, we've played the last, call it 60-some, maybe 70 games together. Uh, I think he, he got very fortunate with, I mean, how it ended up playing out for him. So, uh, you know, hopefully he's, he's back soon. I don't know if that's tomorrow or when that is. But, uh, yeah, it, it'll look a little different. But at the same time, you know, still got the constant Adam in the middle. And then um, if, it, if it's top on the left or whoever it is, uh, you know, we'll find a way to, to work as a unit of three and, you know, create offense and uh, defend hard. If it is Tyler, uh, and, and you're skated with him today, and again, it was just practice, but uh, you know he's a different player than you know. Is there much adjusting that has to be done uh, on your and Adam's part, Mason, or does that fall more on Tyler? Well, I think uh, you know Toss such a smart player; he'll be able to read off it's really easy. So I think uh, the biggest thing is, you know, he's also a right shot where I'm used to playing with two lefts. So like I'm usually finding that side slot on the right side because they can't hit that one timer as a lefty. So it's kind of going to be me and. Toff kind of, you know, getting in and out of those holes together. And then, uh, you know, all three of us can go down low and win battles and make easy plays down there. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's one of those guys I feel like, you know, sometimes he doesn't have the puck on his stick a ton or, you know, he's just kind of milling in the weeds. But he's such a smart player that he's always in the right areas and then the puck seems to just find him. And then it's in the back of the net just like that. So uh, we, we got to find a way to get pucks to him and uh, let his offensive skill set show. Yeah, I thought um, we did a really good job against that line. Uh, you know, either you're defending hard, and then at the same time, when you're when you're having those sustained ozone shifts, even though you're not necessarily always generating, but it's taking away from anything that they can do. So uh, those those long shifts in the ozone obviously are a huge piece of frustrating them and keeping the puck up their stick. So that's something you know I think me and Nino and Lauser are, are pretty good at, uh, just kind of holding it from them and you know being simple and being predictable to each other. So. Uh, yeah, I, I really like their game against against them. Yeah, uh, you know, obviously they're a team that's kind of playing a little more free, uh, but you know they've been good against us. They're a pretty pretty balanced group. So I think uh, you know at the end of the day, it's about us though. It's about what we look like, and you know when we have four lines kind of looking the same and without the puck, and then from there, each line obviously has a little bit different of identity. But it's it's all about us this time of year. Uh, it's cliche to say, but like, you know, when we went on that skid, there were, there were some games we really liked, and then there's some games we were like, what the heck are we doing? This, this doesn't look like us. So, uh, just trying to keep the emphasis and the focus on us, and, and do what we do best. Huge. Uh, you know, everybody's everybody's watching the standings. Um, obviously, you want home ice, and you know, we play Colorado there, have a chance to make up two on them there. So you, you know. You only get a handful of games, so every game really, really counts. Um, and obviously, Nashville's been probably the hottest team in the league too, so they're they're right there as well. So uh, you don't want to stare at the standings too much, but you know that you know every two points is is massive right now. How uh, exciting, or is it even on the radar uh, that a, a win tomorrow night and you can at least get that X marks the spot? I know Rick's talked about that a lot, but uh, uh, is, from a symbolic uh, point of view, is it even uh, that important uh, to you guys? Know that. Uh, but, yeah, you know, it's just puts a little peace of mind, I guess. That's kind of all it really is. Uh, you know, we've been in a playoff spot basically the whole season, so it's not like, you know, when you're when you're fighting for the 7-8 spot and then and then you clinch that, that's kind of like, okay, now we got the X next to our name. You know, where we've been in the standings all year, we've always believed in this group and always felt we were a playoff team and a good playoff team. So I think, uh, yeah, it's nice to clinch if we win tomorrow night, but at the end of the day, like, we knew we weren't missing the playoffs, so it's not, it's not a, that big of a deal, I guess. Uh, yeah, anytime it's it's in your control, it's a lot easier, you know, when you have to rely on X to lose or Y, or y to tie or this to happen, it uh, gets a little scary. And then obviously anytime you get the X next to your name, it feels good. But uh, yeah, doing it on your own terms is obviously the best.